And then also just the last thing I want to talk about right now too is the finances of this all. It's not lost on me that like this is a huge shift in financial stability and so it's scary. But this is the first time I've actually been in a position to be able to chase my dreams outside of the corporate world. I love you till the day that I die I don't know what I'm crying everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another vlog. Today is actually Memorial Day, but before we do some festivities with family, we actually have to film something. And the agency I'm working with, when I signed on to this project, they just said, are you interested in working with a popular food brand? And it didn't occur to me, I didn't think anything of it. And I was like, oh yeah, of course, like, you know, popular food brand, I'm in. And then they just sent me like the tracking number maybe a week later, and it is Momofuku. If you guys haven't heard, they've been under fire recently with the AAPI community because they have been going through some legal stuff where they're trying to trademark Chili Crunch. I did sign on to it and it was my fault for not asking the brand prior. But I have been trying other chili oils from other smaller businesses so to support them. We tried Fly by Jing, I think it was called. That one's delicious. We do have to go run to the grocery store to pick up a few things because it is going to be based on their ramen and I want to top it off with like eggs, green onions, and then possibly kimchi. But I just wanted to show you how I do my content. I basically write my briefs out and the first page is sort of just the brief about the brand and sort of the overall goal. And then the next two pages are the video ideas that I come up with. So that's video one, video two. And the thing about this too is I like to do it where I write out everything I'm saying and then the shot list so that I have all the shots I need, especially if it's like a voiceover and I'm not really talking on camera much. Shot list, that's key. But yeah, we're gonna head over to the grocery store real quick and then grab our ingredients and then start filming. It is so gloomy today, and the last couple days have actually been gloomy, so, and this is due tomorrow, so I have to film it, but I prefer to film on a sunny day just to get all that natural light inside the house, especially when you're filming with your phone. More light, the better, uh, since the sensor is so small, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Also, I don't know if you guys have been listening to Billie Eilish's new album, but it is so good. On my first listen, I wasn't really sure about it, but then I started listening it to more and more and more and then like used my headphones and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a freaking masterpiece. Like the whole album is so good. And I think that's kind of how you're supposed to li listen to it, or at least that's what I feel like, how it should be listened to. But Birds of the Feather is like one of my favorite songs in there. It's just so upbeat and happy and just, it reminds me of like old 80s, 90s love songs where like songs back in the day were like, I love you so much, don't leave me, I want to die with you. <laughs> we were so cheesy back then. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting for that. Probably why I like it so much. Also, I have to say that like when I posted my last video about doing YouTube full time, the minute I posted it, I kind of got a panic attack. I was like, oh my God, what the hell are you doing? You're crazy. I'm trying to find kimchi. I don't know if they have kimchi. If not, I think I'm just gonna do pickled red onions. Okay, I found kimchi, but this small thing is $7.50. Hell no. $7.99 Please select your payment method. Please wait. System processing. So I never usually use light, but it's so gloomy. I think I have to put a little bit of fill light in there. Because uh, my face is a look looking a little dark, so we're going to go ahead and add some fill. Do you guys ever feel like you want restaurant quality food but don't want to spend that time in the kitchen? Well, I got a secret for you. Momofuku noodles. Do you guys ever... Oh my gosh. Do you guys feel like you 
Do you ever feel like you want restaurant quality food? Do you ever feel like you want restaurant quality food but don't want to spend that time in the kitchen? Well, I got a secret for you, Momofuku noodles. Some days I'm just too lazy to cook and too broke for takeout, so thankfully I'm stocked with these restaurant quality noodles from Momofuku. All right, so now I think I'm just gonna do a little overhead shot of the variety of this pack. So let's do that. It came out delicious. Let me show you guys. It's a wrap for that project and the noodles actually are really good, which, uh, Momofuku, why did you have to do that, David Chang? And soft boil superior when it comes to noodles. Mmm. And also chili oil, a must. Mmm. Anyways, it is, sorry. Anyways, it's Memorial Day, so I'm gonna head over to my brother's. They're doing a little barbecue with the family. I'm thinking of taking my e-bike. It's been a minute since I've been using my e-bike religiously. When we lived over in Mission Hills, I would ride that thing everywhere just because it was a very rideable town. Had a lot of bike lanes, not a lot of fast traffic, but here in the suburbs, there's some streets where people can go pretty fast. Some people are going 60 miles per hour where it's like a 45 zone. So I don't know, I kind of want to break out the bike again, especially since my van is a gas guzzler. I got to start thinking of ways to save and saving on gas would be a good thing because to fill that up, it's almost 150 bucks to go from close to empty all the way to full. So it is a diesel engine, so it does take diesel gas, which has a little bit better gas mileage, but still, still a lot to fill up. So I think I want to do a e-bike to my brothers he lives about 10 to 15 minutes away via car so maybe the e-bikes i want to say 20 minutes away yeah i think i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna get ready pack up the bike and then i'll take you guys with this so let's go I've ever mentioned it in the vlog, but I do have my motorcycle license and I got it because I used to drive a Vespa back in the day, maybe like 15 years ago. I used to drive a Vespa to work every day because I lived close to work. Funny story, it was an old school looking Vespa, it's yellow. Thought it was like cool vintage, right? But also in my back of my mind, I'm like, I probably look really fucking gay. Little dude on a Vespa. One day I was going to work and I felt this huge thing on my neck. I was like, oh my God. I thought it was a hate crime because I thought someone like shot me with a BB gun. Turns out, when I took my jacket and all my equipment off, there was a bee right here. <laughs> Hilarious. I got stung by a bee. I thought it was a hate crime that someone shot me with a BB gun. Here we go. Looks clear. Whew. Yeah. When things go Ending. Right here, let's go. We think. We think the earth, see the sky, we think too. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> flat what the fuck I looked at my tires and I did not see that right there 
All right, it's now Wednesday. Wanted to do a quick check-in with you guys because I have been so busy the past few days. And in my last video, I talked about going full-time on YouTube and it's not because of that that I'm busy. I actually forgot to mention that I'm still finishing out the month of May with my contract work for the part-time position that I ended up quitting. And so I'm focusing on that right now. Just wanna make sure to do everything I needed to and get my projects done. Last we talked, I think it was Memorial Day and I ended up getting a flat tire on the way home. Honestly too, I should have known better I should have followed my intuition because prior to riding, I checked my bike, I tightened everything that needed to be tightened. But at the same time, I was like, I haven't ridden this in a really long time. Tires are looking a little bit worn out. So I should have followed my gut and just waited till I got my appointment to get the tune up and just have the bike checked overall. So. Hi guys, we're currently in PB. We're meeting up with a friend of mine. Her name is Natalie. I actually hired her as a designer back in the day and so we're gonna catch up. I actually have a project where I think she'd be great on that I need a collaboration with and so that's what we're gonna talk about today. So we're gonna head over to OB Coffee Roasters. That was a really successful meeting. It's good to just catch up with a friend because I haven't seen her in forever. And it's kind of fun that we are thinking about working again outside of the company we were working for. So I'm excited to collaborate with her and uh, build that sort of creative partnership again with her because she really was an integral part in the success of our past work. So I'm actually thinking about grabbing some food for tonight. There's a really good pokey spot here called Raw Sushi, I think. And then after that, I think we're gonna head over to Sunset Cliffs, which is close by. Just get some fresh air, work out of my van, take the drone up, just have a little nice day together. All right, hope you guys can hear me well, and I'll do my best to put some noise cancellation on the waves there because it sounds amazing, but hopefully you don't hear it too much when we're doing a little chit chat right here. Also might do some drone footage, that way while we're talking you get some nice visuals. But I got pokey for lunch as well. <laughs> I wasn't going to get pokey for lunch, but I got hungry and I didn't want to go somewhere else. So we're going to have it for lunch and dinner. It's been a few days since we uh, published and posted that last video about me going to full-time YouTube. But it's been a little bit weird just because I'm still finishing out my contract work. So I haven't technically transitioned to that full-time creator mode yet so it's been a little strange also it's funny how the universe worked because in that video i had talked about all these signs i was getting in terms of yep yeah, you need to try this full time but then after that video i started getting um recommendations from youtube creators who have like hundreds of thousands of followers and they're talking about advice about how to go full-time on youtube and they're like don't quit your job <laughs> so great but you know Everyone's journey is different. And that's one thing I wanted to talk about because I didn't expand on that in my last video. And I have to reiterate that I'm able to do this because I have support from my husband who is a nurse and works full time. And so at least for the next few months, we'll be okay without dipping into our savings. And so yeah, a lot of you were really supportive in the comments and some of you were like, oh, it's so inspirational. And I, I just wanna keep it real with you guys because not a lot of people could do this. Not a lot of people could just drop everything, go full-time YouTube creator mode. Unless they're already bringing in the money when they can do it. But if you're like me, where you're not making that much yet on YouTube, the only reason I can do this is because I have the support. And so that's the realistic version of this. Like I'm giving myself four to six months to take this seriously, see what I can do with it. And so I'm super grateful that I could at least try to follow my passion. Some other thoughts that I've had that have crept up in the last few days. Now I understand why there's a lot of mental health issues in the world. Because doing something you don't want to do day in, day out, it's so debilitating. It's, it's toxic. I hated waking up knowing I didn't want to do the work. And that was a little bit depressing. I feel so sorry for people who have to do that day in and day out. And then I started thinking like, my tagline, if you can, try to choose happy over sad today. And I'm like, oh my God, that's exactly what I did. I chose happy because I was waking up going throughout my day sad. I'm like, this isn't what I want to do, yada, yada, yada. I understand, again, that not a lot of people can do that. And 
depends on your circumstance, but at the same time, I think you can figure out ways how to get out of that sad circumstance. So let's say you have a job, like let's take nursing, for example, since Donnie's a nurse. Let's say you love being a nurse, but you don't necessarily love your department, the hospital you're in, maybe your boss is an asshole. There's ways to get out of that funk, network, look at other jobs at different hospitals, ask other departments if they're hiring. Like you can change your situation if you're not happy. And so if you're working eight hours a day and hate it, it's mentally fatiguing. I was only working 20 hours a week with a company that I actually enjoyed working with. It was just the actual projects that I was doing, I wasn't happy with. And I can't imagine like just hating the whole everything about your job. So yeah, I guess what I'm saying is uh, figure out some ways where you can turn a sad situation into a happier one. What is that sound? Is that a tsunami warning? Not that weird. Those are some thoughts that have crept up since I've decided to try YouTube full time. I feel like everyone deserves a shot at following their passion in some point in their life. And I just have to remember, I think that whatever happens, even if this doesn't work out, even if in four to six months from now, I'm not making enough money to sustain this and need to get a job, then this is a learning point for me. This is a almost pivotal point in my life where I have to figure it out. And if that means finding another job, then that's what I'm gonna have to do. I just hope that in six months, you guys don't see a, a video title, had to get another job, <laughs> working again. Like, let's, let's hope that doesn't happen. Well, the cool thing though is I did start seeing some videos about how nano influencers can make it in the industry. So I'm taking notes there. And then also just the last thing I want to talk about right now too is the finances of this all. It's not lost on me that like this is a huge shift in financial stability and so it's scary. But this is the first time I've actually been in a position to be able to chase my dreams outside of the corporate world. I just have to run with it because I don't think there will be another time where I get to do this or at least get to try to do this and so yeah I guess I'm just saying all this because I just don't want it to seem like it's this happy-go-lucky decision I made on the whim and like yay content creator <laughs> like it's a big life change for me and I just if, if someone's watching this who is contemplating quitting their job to be a creator like you have to really think about the realistic part of this journey and unfortunately that has to do with finances and if you can support yourself for the X amount of times you want to pursue this journey, then go for it if you have the means. But if you don't, keep on that grind, keep your job, keep doing your content creating, figure out ways to incorporate them both. Keep that going for as long as you can until you build your brand where you can go full time. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I'm gonna wrap up some work here and then head home. I'll touch base with you guys later. Hey Siri, play Birds of a Feather by Billie Eilish. I'll love you till the day that I die I don't know what I'm crying for Birds of a feather, we am in the casket you carry Honestly, do not know what just came over me Got home, felt the need to dance And I danced, and it felt amazing Thanks for uh, indulging <laughs> okay, Go get it, go get it, go get it Is the mic check on? Mic check, check mic. I wanted to share this moment with you because I just received something in the mail. There I go. She wanted to be on camera too. But I just got something in the mail and I wanted to open it with you guys because this is the first sort of PR package, I guess you could say, that I'm getting. PR? Would it be PR? Maybe, I'm not sure. I go. But this is the first one where I actually had to sign an NDA. Well, Technically, I had to do that with the Our Place pen, but that was with an agency, and this is like my own sort of collaboration. So, got my knife. Let's open this up. This says actually DR Donald Rogers. But yeah, so this is something that I'm going to be doing a video for, and obviously, I cannot show you, but I just wanted to uh, get my reaction with you guys. We're going to. Oh my god. Totally a. Uh a noob at this because 
It's also new, right? Oh my gosh. What the heck? I'm so excited. Crazy. All right, anyways, before I end the vlog, and if you're watching now, I know you're a real one because you're staying till the end of the video, which not a lot of you do. So if you're here, I just want to say a huge thank you. Also, I wanted to quickly talk about my Patreon because I think I sort of overshot that one and I should have asked you guys advice about it before I launched it or put it out there in the open. But I did do a community post and I started thinking about it because oddly enough, my most popular tier was the $10 one. I think there's like six or seven of you who signed up for that, which is crazy. Like, thank you. I'm going to try my best to provide value for you. Um, I'm looking forward to our one-on-ones. And then the second tier, $5, I think there was like two or three of you. And then there was like one person in the $1 tier. So obviously that tier system was a little bit out of whack. And so I've decided to just keep my lives free. So free and public. So I'm going to go live on YouTube. I'm going to turn on memberships on YouTube so that if you do want to be a member, you can on actual YouTube. And that just no real perks there other than supporting the channel. And then you're going to get like a pretty sure you get like a membership icon during our live chats. So that's something you can do if you want. But other than that, lives will be free and the tiers in my Patreon are going to still be the same. The $5 one, obviously, I'm going to have to rework because that was originally the tier to get you into my lives. But now that lives are just going to be free and open to the public, then I'm going to figure something out with that $5 tier and I'm going to leave the $10 tier alone because that just is our one on one time. So yeah, and so there were, I think, what? Three or four of you, what did I say, that did the $5 tier. And so I'm going to message you privately on Patreon to see if you want to get a refund, if you want to downgrade or just go to the free membership. Totally up to you. But I am going to add some stuff to that $5 tier, possibly make them moderators for my channel so that when, they're, when I go live, you guys can filter out spam, delete comments, trolls, stuff like that. The $5 tier also still includes you in my credits at the end of my videos as my Patreon family and community. And then uh, I think I'm just going to also give you guys access to a lot of the creator files that I'm going to be uploading this month on the $10 tier that will trickle down to the $5 tier too. So essentially that $10 tier, the main sort of value you're getting there is for one-on-one -on -one chats um, and meetings and strategic meetings and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. That way we can get as many people into our lives as possible because obviously part of this is building a community getting to know each other. I really feel like the community aspect of this journey for me has probably been one of the most fulfilling and grateful impacts for me in, start, in terms of starting a channel. And so I want to be able to foster that community, talk to you guys, get to know you, and also you guys to get to know each other. Also just talking and just getting to know each other and having a glass of wine, cup of tea, coffee, and just hanging out, so think that's going to be the plan moving forward and we'll see how that works out. And as always, if you guys can, try to choose happy over sad today and I'll catch you in the next video. And uh, yeah, we're officially full-time creators after today. Today's my last day with the part-time job, so I'm wrapping some things up with them and then we are going full-on content creator YouTuber mode, so yeah, I'm excited. That's probably why I was dancing the other day because I was just like, I felt free. Yeah, that's probably it. All right, see you guys.